Okay, today we're going to go over basic programming and chirp. We're going to be using the uh, Baofeng BF F8H P radio. So, plug your radio into your cable, turn the radio on, turn the volume all the way up, or a radio, download from radio, pick Baofeng, pick your model. This is my model here. And and you'll see it is called. This radio I went on a trip with and uh, I put the repeaters in from other areas for the trip. What's nice is you can save the uh, save this to a file once it's in. So there is all the repeaters I have, all the channels. I have show empty on so you can see the empty channels down here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to erase everything. Okay, control A, boom, we erased it. Now, say you want to put some local repeaters in, you can go to radio, you can go to query data source, I use repeater book. Pick your state, we'll go down, we'll pick Pennsylvania, we will pick, let's see, Luzerne County, and I'm going to pick two meters for now. Okay. Then we go out to the internet and pull that database. Right here. There's an empty channel up top. So say you want to put these channels into the radio. Highlight this. Hold shift. Highlight this. Control C for copy. Go over to your radio. Control V. So there's your local two meters. Close them out. Radio. Hurry data source. Repeater book. Now I want to get the 70 centimeters in. Okay, there we are. Control C, click on an empty channel, Control V. Now, you can also just import, take the channels out, just click in here, hold down here, delete, okay. Now it's empty. We could just go import from data source instead of query. So a repeater book, we want the 70 centimeters imported. Okay, it'll tell you which ones you want. If you want which ones, boom. Import, repeater book, we want the tw two meters. In they go. Very quick. Now, say you're going to go to a, well, I'm going to go a little trip today up to a town called Scranton, so I'm going to put Lackawanna County in there. I'm going to import repeater book, we go to Lackawanna. Okay, I'll pull their two meters in. And import from data source, and I'll pull their 70 centimeters in. So now we have all the channels here. Okay. If you want to add the channel yourself, all you do is click in here, type in the frequency. You can give it a uh, call sign name if you want. You can tell if there's a tone. Okay, usually there's a tone. Go over here, pick the tone. Say it was 77. If it was plus or minus. Say it was a minus. And you put in here what you want. Okay. And then manually put in uh, from radio reference, you can put in your scanners and you can name them like Luzerne County Fire, EMS, Wilkesbury Police. So you can put the frequencies in here with the name. You don't have to put a tone for them because you're not going to transmit on them. But that's how you would load in your uh, you know your local EMS. So I'm going to close this out. I'm not going to save it. I'm going to go down to File, Open. Okay, and there is my images. So, say I wanted to load back in from yesterday's Hershey trip all of the um, hundred of channels in, which I don't really need. I can just click on that. If I want to upload what I'm using locally, I have it dated. I click on Open. There's all my channels. I go to radio, upload to radio. Com 8, 
Bofang, it finds it, click OK. It's now cloning it to the radio. Reset the radio and all your channels are there. So it's very simple to actually use the Chirp software, program your Bofang.